We are at the Thompson Speedway for the 19th race of Season 1 of the SCR Icebreakers Wheelham Series. The number 50 car of Samet Oskin will be leading us to the green flag. Stand beside him is the 57 of Daniel Gertarch. The rest of the starting lineup for today's race. All 24 drivers are here. Points leader Kaka White Lion will be starting in the 12th spot. She has a 133-point lead over Ryan Pritchard, who starts in the 9th spot. Of course, Thompson Speedway, this is the third time we are using this track here in Season 1. And the first ever event, Eddie Wacombe won that race, forever writing his name in the history books as the first ever winner here in the Wheelam Series. And the second event, Carter Friesen won that race after it went green-white checkered in the race that A.J. Jones dominated. So it'll be interesting to see how these drivers handle this track. Ryan Pritchard, who won the last race... Uh, became the 12th different winner in the 18 races we have done so far this season to win a race. So once again, proven diversity in this series and league continues to happen. So of the 25 drivers that have competed in this series, 12 have won a race. So just over uh, half of the drivers have won at least once in this series. Of course, White Line is leading the pack with four wins which is why she is the points leader. So that is it for the pre-race show, and now the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. The field is rolling off. Of course, if you are a fan of Thompson Speedway, we will be returning to this track in a couple of races, as well as the second-to-last race of the season. So we will still return to this track two more times before Season 1 is officially over. Simon Oskin in the 50 car, looking for his first win of the season. Daniel Gertrach starting beside him, looking for his first career win ever. Pace car pulls in. Pull them belts tight. We are racing 20 laps here at Thompson Speedway. And there's the green. We are racing for the 19th time here in Season 1. Off into turn number 1. Side by side for the race lead. Sam Oskin clears the 57 car off of turn number 2. Battle for second. Here comes the 38 of Jack Legacy, our Season 1 Bush Grand National Series champion. Well, Wrangler Jeans. And to turn number four, off the final turn, it'll be Simmon Oskin leading the first lap. 19 laps to go. And to turn number one, Jack Legacy dives it on in to turn one. Jack is still looking for his first win of the season. Trying to go for a lead. He gives a bump to Simmon Oskin. Side by side. Oskin with a run. The 50 car will lead that lap. But Jack Legacy's not giving up. Trying to dive it on into turn number one. Nope, Austin blocks. Battle for third. Here comes the 23, Cole Nixie. Looking for his first win of the season still. Battle for fourth. Here comes the 121 car, Ryan Pritchard, our winner at Star Raceway. Looking to become the first driver to win back-to-back -back races, which has still never been done in this league. There you see the 09, Cal Hunter. He's moving up. Kyle is looking for his first win as well. As he goes past the 48 car, Baffo Sacco. Oh, 0 9 goes wide. No contact though. Jack Legacy dives it on into turn number one. Pass in Sam and Oskin. This is for the race lead. And he completes the pass. Here comes a 23 call. Nixie, he wants to join the party. Battle for fourth. Kyle Hunter easily takes it from Ryan Pritchard. Cole Nixie tried to pull out past Simon Oskin. Can't do it yet. Five laps have been completed. 15 to go. Ryan Pritchard tried to make a peek under the 0-9, but could not. Here comes Baffo Sacco. This is for P6. Nick Kennedy not having a good season this year, really. 
There's our points leader, Kakawatla. She's moved into the top ten. Here comes Eddie Wakumbi, our first Thompson race winner, trying to go around White Lion. Back up front. They are still chasing the 38 of Jack Legacy. Of course, our SCRL Wrangler Jeans Bush National Series champion for season one. Goes a little bit wide in turn one. Was able to maintain control of his vehicle. As we will have 12 laps to go. Working lap number eight. Looks like the front, about 15 cars have settled down. As you see, the 28 car rallies fully tube. Our Catamount race winner going past A.J. Jones. And he's going to try and pass Daniel Bouchard, who is a former two-time winner in this series. Back up front, make sure we're not missing anything. Jack Legacy has pulled away almost to a full second over Sam and Oskin. Here comes Cole Nixie, trying to go for second. 11 laps to go. Oh, battle for position. Baffo Sacco trying to pass Ryan Pritchard. This is important for Kakawatline because if Pritchard gets passed, he will lose five points. So Pritchard's fighting hard on the outside trying to maintain fifth spot as White Lion has moved up to ninth. Oh, we got a car scraping the wall. That is the 50, Simon Oskin. And he will lose second and third to Cole Nixie, who Nixie scrapes the wall, which moves Cal Hunter up to second. There are two seconds behind Jack Legacy. Who is pulling away? Nick Kennedy trying to pass. Sam Oskin decides not to. There's Ryan Pritchard. There's our points leader. Battling for position on the track. White line will move up a spot. And Ryan Pritchard will lose a spot. Laps are widening down. Be seven laps to go. We are caution free so far. Nick Kennedy trying to pass Seven Oskin. This will be for P4. So he will not get a podium finish. That is held currently by Jack Legacy, Kyle Hunter, and Cole Nixie. You see White Lion trying to make a peek on the 57 car. Jenna Grachach goes a little bit wide. White line decides not to pull off a pass yet. They are still chasing Jack Legacy, who has a 2.4 second lead. The worst thing Legacy could see is a caution right now. That would be the only way these drivers would have a shot of catching him. Baffo Sacco trying to move past Nick Kennedy for P5. Oh, battle for position. White Lion's going to lose it to Ryan Pritchard, her championship rival. See if she just gives him the spot and fall back in line. The 11 car, Evan Hunter, allows her. So White Lion will try and attack again on the 121 car. You go further up ahead to our race leaders. Jack Legacy is all by himself as he will get... Three laps to go this time by. If at any point during, if at any point we have a caution from here on out, we will go green-white checkered. It should be the second Thompson race in a row we've had a green-white checkered. You see Kyle Hunter trying to close in. Nearly two, well actually over two seconds, two and a half to be precise. Single file for the most part. You see Zachary Fitzwater defending against Dexter Black. Down the back stretch, lap and a half to go for Jack Legacy. It's been a while since he's visited Victory Lane. Off the final turn, white flag one lap to go. No green white checker for this race. The season one Bush Series champion, he's struggled ever since then. Has been winless in his first 18 starts here in the Wheelam Series. But in start number 19, he's going to wipe that clean. Off the final turn, Jack Legacy scores his first career Icebreakers Wheelam Series win here at Thompson Speedway.
And we did that caution free. Here are your results. Jack Lagacy scores his first win of the season. Second is Cal Hunter. Third, Cole Nixie. Fourth, Sam Oskin. Fifth, Nick Kennedy. Sixth, Baffo Sacco. Seventh, Danny Kerchuk. Eighth, Eddie Wacombe. Ninth, Ryan Pritchard. And tenth, Riley Spurley to eleventh. Evan Hunter, 12, Keckle White Lion. So Ryan Pritchard beat White Lion by three spots. He'll gain just a little bit on White Lion. Rest your race results. Patrick Smith finishes last in this race. Well, with Jack Legacy scoring the win, that means we now have 13 out of 25 drivers winning a race in this season. And we'll take you to victory lane for the very first time with our Bush Series champion for season one, Jack Legacy. Here are your point standings after the 19th race of the season at Thompson. Keckle White Line is still our points leader. She has a 122 point lead. So she lost 11 points. No, wait. Yeah, she lost 11 points to Ryan Pritchard in the last race. Third is A.J. Jones, 248 points behind. Fourth, Sammy Savvy Jr., 250 points behind. And fifth, Riley Spurley Tube, 262 points behind. Sixth is Eli Bright. Seventh is Jack Legacy, who gained five points, I mean five spots with his win. Eighth, Eddie Wacombe. Ninth, Al Legacy. And tenth is Dexter Black. Eleventh is Kyle Hunter. Twelfth, Cole Nixie. Thirteenth, Evan Hunter. Fourteenth, Danny Bouchard. Fifteenth, Zachary Fitzwater. Sixteenth, Carter Friesen. Seventeenth, Sam Austin. Eighteenth, Patrick Smith. Nineteenth, Marco Telzi. And twentieth is Anthony Lopez. Twenty-first, Joshua Rush. Twenty-second, Danny Grachach. 23rd, Baffo Sacco, 24th, Nick Kennedy, and last is Ace Horsebutt. So that is your point. Stan is at the 19th race of the season at Thompson. The next race will be at the Waterford Speed Bowl, where we have raced one time in series history. Evan Hunter is a defending race winner. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.